they put in the lunch food over at that writer's collective. <laughs> That's awesome. God bless you guys. Um, uh, my name is Danelle Baird. Uh, I am the founder of a clean energy startup. Uh, we, we work out of 15 Metro Tech Center at NYU's uh, Polytechnic Engineering School. Um, what's next? So I'll talk a little bit about growing up in Brooklyn uh, and how our clean energy company ended up uh, focusing here in Brooklyn. So, so I grew up in Bed-Stuy. My parents are West Indian immigrants. Um, and we grew up in a brownstone on Decatur Street, 246. And we didn't have functioning heat in the building. So at, in the winter, on a day like today, we would crack the window and kind of turn on the oven and open up the oven door and heat up our apartment. And our neighbors did the same. And so I kind of learned early on how inefficient the, the kind of heating and cooling and energy use in financially underserved communities is. Um, I went on to Duke, but I became a community organizer, so I moved back to Brooklyn, uh, to Brownsville, where Mike Tyson grew up, which many of you know is one of the worst neighborhoods in the city, uh, the poorest census tract in New York. Um, the, the state government spends a million dollars per block to incarcerate uh, residents of 17 city blocks in Brownsville per year. Uh, so there's $17 million per year that are spent to incarcerate people from 17 blocks of Brownsville. It's, it's pretty tough. Uh, so I worked there for three years and got super focused on job creation for the ex-offenders and kind of young families uh, that live in Brownsville to help them take care of their kids uh, because 35% of the neighborhood at, at one point or another enters the criminal justice system. Um, I ended up noticing while I was in Brownsville that the giant public housing complexes uh, in NYCHA, 17, 18 stories high, even on a cold day like today, they would also have their windows open in the middle of the winter uh, because they needed to, to kind of ventilate the apartments and kind of overcompensate for the overheating that, that, that might be happening in their buildings. And so there's a tremendous inefficiency that was not only going on in the building where I grew up, but in inner city buildings across Brooklyn and across the country. Uh, so we founded a clean energy startup to kind of focus on these communities. Um, and what have we learned? Uh, the, the, the hypothesis uh, that there is an enormous inefficiency in inner cities is important to folks who are not only concerned about inner cities, but folks who are also concerned about climate change. Because it turns out that the majority of carbon emissions in America comes from buildings. And buildings in inner cities overconsume energy per square foot because they're poorly maintained. Right? And so if you're someone who's concerned about saving the planet and mitigating climate change, you need to be concerned about what's going on in inner city Brooklyn. So we've built a business around that, and we're able to raise some Silicon Valley venture capital. And the reason for this, and I don't know how many of you guys know this, is because it turns out that the electricity grid underneath Brooklyn is failing. How, ma how many of you know that? None. We're at risk of rolling blackouts uh, from 2017 on because there's a power station in Brownsville, Brooklyn called Power Substation Number 2 that Con Edison owns that's old and it's failing and it costs $1.2 billion to replace it. Con Edison wants to raise our electricity rates by 7% this year in order to raise the $1.2 billion to replace it. And it's because this substation, uh, which takes high voltage electricity that's produced in Indian Point in the nuclear plant or in upstate New York and sent down to New York City, it needs to be you know, ratcheted down to the type of current that we can use in our buildings here in Brooklyn and here in New York City. And that infrastructure is failing. Uh, so everything needs to be replaced. Uh, our governor. Uh, has suggested that instead of continue to invest in kind of this old school fossil fuel infrastructure here in Brooklyn, that Brooklyn and central Brooklyn and downtown Brooklyn and east New York be one of the first communities to, 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 to become entirely green, to, to have local solar panels, solar hot water, and energy efficiency technologies throughout Brooklyn. And not many folks know about this, but that's what's next. Uh, so what my company does is we are partnering with Con Edison, um, the mayor's office, the governor's office, and a range of investors, uh, some investment banks from Wall Street, uh, environmentalists, foundations interested in climate change, folks interested in creating jobs in inner cities to train and hire ex-offenders from Brooklyn, from Brownsville, from Bed-Stuy to green their own buildings. Uh, we'll be developing $250 million worth of projects here in Brooklyn over the next 36 months. And that's what we're working on. Thank you. No blackouts. <laughs>